Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share my best tips for Barcelona, Spain. So Barcelona is a fantastic city. I lived there for five months and absolutely loved it. Even though I have lived there, I think it's a great city to travel to for a week and get away or for a longer trip. Barcelona has beaches, city life, amazing restaurants, historical sites, beautiful viewpoints and a lot of other things to do. And in my opinion, the city really has it all. So today is a rainy and very windy day here in Finland and what would be a better way to spend a rainy day like this than to make a Barcelona travel guide. In this travel guide I want to go through my favorite restaurants in Barcelona, some very nice places to visit in the city center of Barcelona and also some places to visit outside the city if you're visiting Barcelona for a longer time or just in general want to see something outside the city and also some other tips as well. So make sure to watch until the end so we get the very best tips to Barcelona, Spain. So at the time of filming this video it is currently May 2021 and we're in the middle of a pandemic right now and I just want to make a small short disclaimer to tell you all that I am not aware what the situation is in Barcelona right now. I don't know whether these restaurants are open or closed and I just recommend doing your own research when it comes to traveling to places. Obviously this is not the best time to travel really anywhere but if you're traveling to Barcelona in the coming months in the future whenever you're watching this then you know just go ahead and watch this video because i'm sure these are going to be some awesome places that you will for sure like on your barcelona trip and without further ado let's just get into this video shall we so as someone who loves food i will of course start off with restaurants so restaurant number one is rosa del raval or I think it's called Rosa Negra currently. Uh, when I was living in Barcelona, it was Rosa del Raval, but I think they have changed their name. So let's just say Rosa Negra for now. So Rosa Negra is an awesome restaurant, really close to La Rambla, but a bit more on the side. So you're not on the La Rambla street, but it's a walking distance from there. And this restaurant has lovely Mexican food, really tasty margaritas at a quite affordable price and also the atmosphere is so nice in the restaurant. So if you're able to visit during a time when you're actually able to stay and eat in the restaurant, then I definitely suggest going to Rosa Negra for a drink, some food and just to enjoy your time. Rosa Negra is a great place to eat. I love, love their fish tacos. But you know, you can also just go there and grab some drinks because their margaritas are awesome. The next restaurant I want to talk about is Cat Bar. Cat Bar for sure needs to be mentioned in this video because I love their vegan hamburgers. Cat Bar is a small and cozy restaurant in the city center of Barcelona and they have hands down the best vegan ha hamburgers that I have ever tasted. They're Hamburgers are so delicious. During my five months in Barcelona, I visited uh, Catbar a few times and I also took some takeaway when I was feeling a bit hangover. Anyway, Catbar was my favorite hamburger place in Barcelona when I was living there. And I for sure recommend visiting Catbar, even if you're not vegan, but just like good food in general. I mean, Catbar has it. So the next restaurant I want to mention is Bodega Vasconia. This was my and my friend Vilmas. I think it was our favorite restaurant in Barcelona. Uh, we were living really close to Bodega Vasconia, which is a small and cozy tapas restaurant in the Gothic Quarter. Their tapas is amazing, really delicious and quite affordable. And their portion sizes is on the bigger side, so you can definitely go and eat some delicious tapas, even if you're really, really hungry and you know just enjoy the tapas because it's so delicious also the staff at Bodega Vasconia is really lovely so the last restaurant i want to mention in barcelona is pizza pazza and if you're looking for a good pizza then pizza pazza is a place to go to pizza pazza just has good pizza and i don't think there is anything else i can add to that before we move on to the next tips like places to visit and all the other tips, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you're enjoying it this far. And let's just continue, shall we? So next up are places to visit within the city center that are not restaurants. So the first place I want to mention is Plaza Real. It's a square 
uh, really close to La Rambla and it's kind of hidden but it has it's a really beautiful square and there's like a lot of restaurants a lot of places to grab a drink and so on it's a beautiful place even if you're not hungry or anything you can just go there and check it out because it's a really lovely place the next place is La Boqueria, which is one of the main tourist destinations in Barcelona. You can just grab a nice lovely smoothie, you can go and buy some fresh food and so forth. And I think it's just a great place to just give a quick visit and grab a good smoothie on the way. Another really popular tourist destination in Barcelona is of course Sagrada Familia, which is the church designed by architect Antoni Gaudi. It's the really interesting looking church. It has really interesting and stunning architecture. All the details and everything about the like building itself is just so interesting. There are a lot of landmarks in Barcelona designed by Gaudi, but Sagrada Familia is definitely my favorite. I would strongly recommend also visiting the inside of the church if you have the possibility. The tickets can be a bit limited, so make sure to grab your ticket while you can, because it's a really popular destination, at least, you know, during normal times when there's a lot of tourists in the city. But even if you're not able to visit inside the church, I still just recommend checking out the outside of the church and, you know, walking around the neighborhood. The next place is one of my favorites in Barcelona and that's Bunkers del Caramel and it's definitely worth a visit. It can seem to be a bit of a hassle to get there but you can easily get there from anywhere in the city with you know the metro or a bus and you should definitely bring a snack maybe some drinks like a bottle of wine or some beer when you're there and preferably go before sunset because then the views are just amazing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Bunkers del Carmel is a really beautiful view spot in the city center. It can get a bit chilly in the evening since it is a bit higher up in elevation. So besides snacks and drinks, I suggest bringing some warm clothing just in case. Barcelona has a lot of historical sites and there are also a lot of museums in the City. If you're interested in visiting some museums while you're in Barcelona, I definitely suggest checking out Museum of the History of Barcelona and also Chocolate Museum. Museum of the History of Barcelona is especially interesting in my opinion because there are some really interesting old ruins from Roman times, so that's really interesting. I like to see buildings and things when I am visiting museums, so this is definitely one worth checking out. Of course, if you're visiting Barcelona when it's warm, then you should definitely check out the beaches in Barcelona. Of course, we have Barceloneta in Barcelona, but even if it's a nice beach and walking distance to La Rambla, it can get really crowded, so if you're looking for more peace and quiet and just have a more relaxed time when you're on the beach, then I suggest just walking alongside the beachfront towards other beaches like Bogate Beach and Marbella Beach. So next up I'm going to talk about places to visit outside the city center of Barcelona. So firstly let's talk about Montserrat Monastery. The Montserrat Monastery is located approximately one hour train ride from the city center of Barcelona and it's really easy to get to. When you have reached Montserrat you can take the funicular up to the monastery and enjoy the lovely views. It's really high up so the views are just stunning. There are mountains around and it's just so different to the city center. Montserrat Monastery makes a really good day trip if you're visiting for a longer period of time or even if you're already quite familiar with Barcelona city center then you might want to check out Montserrat Monastery. So another good place to visit outside the city center of Barcelona is Tarragona. Tarragona is a really nice day trip from Barcelona if you have time and it's just a smaller city on the coast of Spain. You can take the train to Tarragona from Barcelona and the train ride is about one and a half hours. Tarragona itself I think it's just a really cute and beautiful city and I definitely recommend checking out the old town of Tarragona which is just really interesting and beautiful. So let's move on to the other tips to Barcelona. These are just some general tips and things that you might want to keep in mind when you're traveling to Barcelona. 
So Barcelona is really easy to get around in. The public transportation in Barcelona is fantastic in my opinion. There are metros, buses and also trains that take you further away from the city center and it's just really easy to use. TMB is the public transportation system in Barcelona and their tickets, the TMB's tickets can be used both on metro and buses and the tickets can be bought from metro stations and also if you're taking the bus you can just buy the bus ticket from the driver. A good rule of thumb when it comes to Barcelona and when it comes to restaurants in Barcelona is to stay out of La Rambla. Just walk away from La Rambla when it comes to restaurants because you will for sure get more value for your money on the more narrower streets that are not on La Rambla. La Rambla mostly has some really touristy and expensive restaurants that are not that great quality and I think this is pretty much accurate for all or most of the big cities in the world. Just, you know, walk a bit more towards the narrower streets or visit the restaurants mentioned earlier in this video and you will find some better food for most likely cheaper prices. If you're interested in taking a cooking class in Barcelona, I would suggest checking out the different paella cooking classes in Barcelona. They usually also include sangria and it's just a really nice time. I took a paella cooking class with some of my roommates and we had a wonderful time. It was really fun to make the paella and also eat it and drink some sangria. So definitely something to check out if you're visiting Barcelona and if you're interested in you know, taking a paella cooking class or any cooking class. So guys, that was all for my Barcelona travel guide. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. And also if you're interested in some other travel guides, I have made one for Budapest and one for Cyprus and I will leave the videos up here so you can check them out next. And yes, that was it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!